TheSwirlWorld.com Podcast episode 149 The Swirl World Interracial Diverse Beautiful Hello, beautiful people. This is Michelle Matthews Calloway, also known as a Swirl Girl, coming at you on behalf of theswirlworld.com, where we celebrate Black women, mind, body, soul, and spirit. We do this over on the blog at theswirlworld.com, on our three Facebook pages, The Swirl World, Military Swirl, and also our sister page, Black women are beautiful, powerful, everything. We also celebrate Black women here on the podcast, on Instagram, and on Twitter, at A Swirl Girl. We also celebrate Black women on Instagram and on Twitter, at A Swirl Girl. Come to us if you want doses of inspiration, motivation, and also information on how you can live your best life. Our overarching mission is to serve as the tool you can use on your quest and journey to being the best you that you can be. Want to give a shout out to my partner in crime, Adrian London Leach. This is her birthday week. Don't tell her I told y'all, but her birthday is May 18th. But her birthday is May 18th, and I want to wish her a happy birthday. All right, so let's get to the question for this week. Are you getting what you want? There's a famous song by Mick Jagger where he says, you can't always get what you want. And to a certain extent, that's true. But I came across this quote from Madonna, and I think this is closer to the reason why. The quote says, a lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. Think about that. Think about that. In light of Mick Jagger's song, You Can't Always Get What You Want, is it because you're not asking for what you want? Is it because you're not pursuing what you want? Is it because you're only wishing and hoping for what you want, but not doing anything about it? And to get back to what Madonna said about people not asking for what they want, I'm reminded of the conversation coach Amber Wright of TalkToAmber.com, who says from the boardroom to the bedroom, everything begins with a conversation. You need to have a conversation. And in light of that, when we think about getting what we want, we're going to have to open our mouths, which is what Madonna is saying. She's saying a lot of people don't get what they want because they don't say what they want. And I thought about my mom, who has sometimes a unique way of getting what she wants. She may not be direct and say, hey, I need you to go to the store and pick up X, Y, Z. She'll go around about it and say, are you going to the store or are you going to do such and such? And immediately my antennas go up because I know she's not asking that question just to be asking it. There's a reason behind it. So, of course, I'm going to say, why? And she'll generally tell me why, and then I wind up doing or picking up whatever that thing is that she actually wanted in the first place when she asked that question. So that's a more simple example. But think about the things in life that you want. Are you getting what you want? Are you speaking up to get the things that you want? I'm also reminded of the old saying from my grandmothers and others of her era, closed mouths don't get fed. So if you don't speak up, people aren't mind readers. And even if they can pretty much guess what you want, oftentimes they won't move in the direction of what you want or getting you what you want simply because you don't say anything. So now think about this. Paulo Coelho in The Alchemist says, and when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. And you know, I see that quote in a lot of places and I see a lot of memes and see this on Twitter and on Facebook. And I believe what he's saying is true. However, 
I don't believe that he was speaking from a passive sense of wishing upon a star and just wanting something and thinking that the universe is going to conspire to help you get it. No, he was speaking within the context of taking action, making steps toward the thing you desire. Then the universe, quote unquote, can conspire to help you achieve the thing that you want. Because you see, you would be making steps in that direction. For example, if you're wanting a new job, when you start speaking that thing, when you start sharing that fact with people, others who know about job openings now know that you are in search of a job. And they can say, oh, you know what? I heard XYZ is hiring or so-and-so has a position open in her firm. And guess what? You have a greater chance of obtaining that thing or at least applying for it because now you know about it. You've put it out there and where you may not have known that this was available, now you do. And I was thinking about the action aspect of what Paulo Coelho said about And when you want something, all the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. And five steps came to mind that I believe would be helpful in helping you to get what you want. All right. So number one is speak it. And that goes back to Madonna's quote where she said a lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. So first and foremost, you have to speak it. Speak it or speak up if that's what it requires, but speak that thing. Say it out loud. Say it with your mouth. And I know a lot of people think, oh, that's corny. Oh, I can't do that. And guess what? Because you're thinking that way, because you're looking at that from a negative standpoint and you're not brave enough. And yes, I said brave enough to say what you want. You think it's silly to speak it out. It's not enough just to put it on a post-it note and put it on your mirror or on your dashboard or on your refrigerator. Speak it. Say that thing. What is it that you want? Look at yourself in the mirror and say, I want, and then fill in the blank. I want a good relationship. I want a new car. I want to be successful. I want to meet my sales goal. I want to exceed my sales goal. Whatever it is, speak it. That's number one. And then number two, start it. What steps do you have to take in order to make that thing a reality? If you want a good relationship, but yet you don't speak to anyone, you don't smile, you never leave the house, or you only follow the same rut of work, home, church, school, work, home, church, school, and never break that monotony, how are you really going to get a good relationship when you're not making any steps in that direction? So you have to start it. First of all, speak it, put it out there, put yourself on notice that this is what you want, and then start it. Analyze whatever that thing is. If it's to increase your sales goal, to meet or exceed it, What is it going to take for that to happen? Wishing is not going to cut it. If it means you have to make more calls, if it means you have to send more emails, if it means that you have to come up with more creative ways of reaching out to your clients, start whatever that thing is that you need to do to make that goal a reality. And then the next step, number three, is stake it. Stake your claim on whatever it is that you've spoken and started. So you have to visualize this thing. It has to be real to you before it can be real to anybody else or before you can make that thing a reality. Stake your claim on what you want. I want a good relationship. I want to achieve my sales goals this month. I want to get a new degree. Stake it. See yourself in that thing or with that thing or achieving that goal. Stake your claim on whatever it is that you're going after. The thing that you want. And then number four, 
stalk it. We've all seen the movies where someone was obsessed with someone else and they started stalking them. They started following them online or maybe even physically following them, actually engaging in the act of stalking that person, following them around. Well, guess what? You have to do the same thing with the things that you want. Now, I'm not saying, oh, the cute guy at work that you're interested in to start stalking him. That's not what I mean. What I mean by stalking is having a laser focus on whatever that thing is. You've spoken it. You started it and taken the steps. You've staked your claim. Now stalk it. Now put in the laser focus that's required to make that thing come about. Going back to wanting a good relationship, does that mean that you need to set up some online dating profiles? Does it mean that you need to go to happy hour more often? Or maybe even go to church? Are you where, in a sense, the people are? And I invite you to scroll through our podcast list and look at some of the episodes because we've talked about this in the past. Stalk it. That's step number four. And then last but not least, seize it. That is step number five. Because you see, I'm a firm believer in what both Madonna said and what Paulo Coelho said. Remember the quote that I gave from Madonna? A lot of people are afraid to say what they want. That's why they don't get what they want. I believe if you follow these steps, if you speak it, if you start it, if you stake it, if you stalk it, you will come to the place of seizing it. Why? Because when you want something, All the universe conspires in helping you to achieve it. Your mindset changes because your focus has shifted. You've become more strategic because you have a goal in mind. There's something that you want and you're not just sitting around wishing upon a star. You're actually taking practical steps to achieve or obtain the thing that you're after. So now I'm going to ask you again. Are you getting what you want? If you aren't, I invite you to try these five steps. And then after you do that, send me an email and let me know how things are working out. Remember, the five steps are speak it, start it, stake it, stalk it, and then seize it. All right, you all, that's it for this week. As I said, you can send me an email, hit me up at aswirlgirl at theswirlworld.com. And I also invite you to check out our new Patreon page. That's right. The Swirl World is now on Patreon. And we have several levels you can choose from if you'd like to be a monthly supporter. We have a $5 level, a $7 level, a $10 level, and also a one-time $100 level that you can select If you'd like to come on the show to promote a book, a project, a course, something that you want other people to know about. Depending on the level you select, you can receive a monthly inspirational video from me or graphics that we can use with your photo with an inspirational quote for placement on our Facebook pages or even the opportunity to come on the show. Head on over to patreon.com and put the swirl world in the search bar. You'll find us there, and you'll see our iconic logo, and that's us. Please consider becoming a patron and supporting us on a monthly basis. That's it for this week. Thanks so much for listening, and we'll talk soon. Take care. Thanks for listening. Make sure to like The Swirl World on Facebook, and subscribe to the blog at theswirlworld.com. Head on over to iTunes and subscribe to the podcast or listen directly from our Facebook page. We can also be heard on SoundCloud and Stitcher Radio. The Swirl World. Interracial. Diverse. Beautiful.